Hello and welcome to Nadia's Modern Imaginings. And welcome to the caravan part two. I am in the process of painting this child-sized gypsy caravan and today I will be working on a lot more of the detail work and showing you how I do it. I know this project is totally unrelated to my wax artwork, however it is not totally unrelated to the artwork I do and so I couldn't resist bringing you along for the ride. Please enjoy! Right, so the next big job is now going to be me going all the way up here. Um, every one, one, two, three, four, every fourth one of these is going to have the swirlies like these on here. I'm um, just freehanding these with my Poscas and it's so much fun. It's great just doing whatever and it's just she's loving everything I'm doing so I'm just going to carry on and uh, work my way up there and hopefully get a good video of it so wish me luck. I start by drawing the outline of the design in the gold Posca. This is just so that I can, when I go back over it again to fill in the colour, um, I can know where I'm going with the colour and I'm not just putting it anywhere. I looked up lots of pictures of these swirly, the actual term for them is scroll work designs and I looked up so many pictures of them I was dreaming about them and so I'm just taking different designs I found and combining them and remixing them if you will. In some places where the wood was rougher, my pen was scratching over the surface and I just love the sound it was making. I would left that in just for you. Again, whilst I was painting, I was listening to some music. So if you hear me humming occasionally in the background, I was just enjoying the music. Where I draw the design a little roughly, I just can either erase with a wet cloth or I can just, um, once I'm colouring the central area, it won't matter so much. And this is the case with a lot of the um, designs. I was just doing them quite roughly and not um, doing everything perfectly and enjoying myself. So I marked each of the beams that I needed to paint um, with just a little dash of gold paint and once I got to the dash of gold paint I just incorporated it into the design and that was that. Once I got to the end of the first beam, I just go back and tidy up any um, bits that 
need a little bit more tidying up and then I'm ready to go on to the next beam or fill in the colour. To finish off the end piece, I'm just sitting up on the bed again and it's a little bit more um, comfortable and easier to draw now. Again, the lighting is a little poor, especially towards the corner where the cushions were blocking some of the light. But I managed to make it right into the corner and finish the very first beam. Now I decided to start work on the other side of the caravan and this is a special beam where my client wanted the words Gypsy Princesses written here because the caravan is for her two granddaughters and they are the Gypsy Princesses who are going to be playing and living here. I found this lovely little sort of gypsy style font online and I just copied it and adapted it for the words that I'd been given. The scroll work was working its way through the letters and I thought this was really clever and really fun to draw. I decided after drawing the first letter that I needed to map out the whole word or else it wasn't going to look great. Um, and this was a good way of doing it and I just worked my way through it.
Now at this point, for some reason, I just sort of stopped planning out the letters as I was drawing them. And I don't know why it would have made my life a lot easier. Now I'm back on the side that I first started on and I am on a higher level now and I am singing very, very badly.
And of course, you have to make some time to jam out to the music. Okay, now I'm just going to fill in these designs. Um, I can paint them, but paint doesn't want to go on this shiny wood very well, so Posca seems to work. Let's go. It's a long job. It's a glorious day. I'm having my tea. I'm wearing a different t-shirt. This is a Jazza one. I think it's really cool. <laughs> and I'm going to be finished this today. I don't know how long it's been. I've totally lost track of time. The birds are singing. The brook is babbling. The water is trickling. The trees are daffling. It's just a beautiful day. And I'm going to get finished this. All told, it's been around about a month, but that's not non-stop work. That's just like every, like a day, two days a week kind of thing. So yeah, once I get this done, it'll be such a good feeling. And then I'm going to start work on the outside. <laughs> That'll be fun, but at least it'll be better weather for doing that. Have my tea and then I'll get on with this. I should have explained that the final touch I need to add to this wonderful scroll work is just a final green border, sort of like a shadow underneath the design. And although it doesn't show up very well on camera, it actually makes a huge difference in person. And I had to go over every single beam for a third time. Uh, first one was the outline, second one was the fill-in, and the third one being the outline. So yes, it was a very long job. So I kept these um, clips just to show you how awkward some of these positions I had to get into to paint this was. Um, bending down quite a lot, uh, kneeling down sometimes, and um, just getting into some very weird positions. But I do get it done and it all is looking fabulous at the end.
finally, for doing the ceiling beam. It was the most difficult of all. I did get to sit on the bed for the first part of it, but after that I was basically upside down and in some of the weirdest positions trying to get it done. And I was so glad when I finally got to the door. Here I actually look like I'm lying on the floor. I had to be pretty much upside down for this. Now it's time to see the final results. And in this shot here, I have included a few extra tidbits, pieces that I had done, but which the process of I have not included in this video and will be in the next video. So please look forward to that. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.